the shocking disappearance of his wife, Lori Hacking, has been solved. True crime documentary. In 2014, a mysterious event happened in Salt Lake City that shocked everyone. Imagine a happy young woman named Lori, who goes out for a morning jog but never comes back home. Her husband Mark, who seems so worried, begins searching everywhere with their family and friends. But as people look closer, they started finding out surprising secrets and lies. Why was Lori's car seen early in the morning when she should have been running? And why did Mark buy a new mattress that day? Many puzzling questions, strained twists, and hidden truths are waiting to be uncovered in this story. Stay tuned to find out the real, shocking story behind Lori's disappearance. In Salt Lake City in 2004, there was a true story that took the whole world by storm. On July 19th, a young lady named Lori Hacking left her house early for a jog, but she never returned. When her husband Mark Hacking woke up, he found that her clothes were still at home. This scared him and he quickly called the police. The police didn't help right away. They said to wait a day before reporting someone missing. But Mark was so scared, he started searching for her with their family and friends. As the search continued, a big surprise came out. Everyone thought that Mark had finished his studies and was going to be a doctor. But this was not true. He had told many lies about his school and job. He had even made Lori believe these lies. He didn't even go to University of Utah like he said, and he wasn't accepted to study medicine in North Carolina. These lies made the police suspicious. Why would he lie about these things? The day Lori vanished, Mark had a strange story. He said that he was asleep when she went for her run. When he woke up, he noticed that she was not home, so he went to buy a new mattress. He then called her work to check on her. When he found out that she wasn't at work, he got very worried, but some neighbors said that they saw her car early that morning, which was strange. Why would her car be there if she was running? The police looked at every small detail. They checked Lori's car and even their home. In their home, they found something odd. There was a knife in a drawer with a mark on it that looked like blood. This was a big twist in this story. Why would there be a knife like that in their home? This made the police think that maybe Lori never went for a run. They began to believe that something bad had happened to her in their own home. Mark's lies began to catch up with him. He admitted that he and Lori had a big fight on July 18th. Lori was sad because she found out about all of Mark's lies. Their friends remembered seeing Lori upset at work. Some neighbors also remembered hearing loud noises from their apartment that night. Mark's story about that night was confusing. He said different things at different times. The police felt that Mark knew more than he was saying. After many searches on October 1st, the sad truth came out. Lori's body was found. It had been a long time so it was hard to know all the details. The police believed that Mark hurt Lori because she wanted to leave him. Mark was taken to court and he got a life prison sentence. He can't leave prison until 2035. Lori's story teaches us a lesson. It's like a secret that things might not be what they look like. People thought that Lori and Mark were a super nice couple, but in their private moments, they had lots of hidden things that they didn't tell the truth about. This tells us that we should be cautious and find out the real truth about things. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Lori's story. If this tale has sparked your interest and made you think about how people's lives can be full of surprises, please show your appreciation and tell your family and friends about it. As we wrap up this story, let's remember Lori's advice. Honesty matters and first impressions can be misleading. Hit the subscribe button and keep your eyes open for extraordinary stories hiding all around you, just waiting to be explored.